Bitcoin is currently still warming up. Have we begun the cycle? You'll have to stay right to the very end of this video so that you, my friend, can find out. Let's delve right in. I don't even want to waste another moment. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss channel and community. I truly appreciate every single one of you blessed beings doing some crazy stuff out there for you guys every day, pumping videos out right now because this is the time that you need to know what's going on. If you haven't been buying previously, well, my friends, then I don't know what you're going to do about yourself this cycle. But the most amount of millionaires ever made in crypto are busy happening right now as I'm doing this video. What makes them so special and different to what it is that you've got? Well, we'll delve into that in a short moment. Let's tuck right in here. Thanks for being with me on my incredible community. I've been publishing some really cool stuff for you guys. So um yeah new world order is dead after trump historic victory uh according to him so yeah i like that and let's move on from here so the european just in german politician joanna qatar says that if the u.s buys bitcoin as a strategic reserve then all the european countries will get the fomo and all of them are going to pile in and use it in the same manner as a Bitcoin strategic reserve. So make no mistake, they're not just talking about this and they're not just saying this out in public. They're actually probably preparing for it in the background because they know America's preparing for it too. So how fast and who does it? Who knows? Who cares? The point is, it's gonna be pumping, 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 pump, 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 pump. Are you ready for your bags to absolutely explode, my friend? Um, we'll do another video for you on narratives and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know when that comes out. But as you can see here, we are only entering into the belief zone. Okay, so now we're starting to believe that this is an asset that maybe we can make some money from. My friends, we've been down here. I've been investing since here. Okay. So you can see I'm pretty much in profit in my crypto portfolio. And I've been making lots of money on the way up. So it's very nice to be in here at the bottom of the market. And hence why you should know that you should invest in the bear cycles and wait for the bull cycles to unfold. That's the patience. Okay. So imagine what happens when a government like German, Bitcoin is up 33, the German government, when they sold their Bitcoin, boom, 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 over here, we're now up 33% since they sold their Bitcoin. They have missed out on a cool $1 billion for free. For free! They would have helped their nation with one more billion dollars, my friend. Well, all the meanwhile, China is actually announcing that a $1.4 trillion debt bailout and is working on more measures to boost the economy. Now, if you recall in my video that I did for you, I think it was, I think it was this video here um and this video here where i actually said to you that we are about to see us go into this phase where we see china printing six trillion to pump into their economy what do you think they're going to do with it and there's talks of now that trump has won that china would be prepared to open conversations once again with america as you know they were previously not doing that because there was a bunch of uh, beavers and buddies in the um, in charge. Well, not really in charge, right? We all know that they are puppets of the system. So while all the European um, nations are going to be FOMOing in here to Bitcoin, China's busy doing it, BRICS is busy doing it, and uh, BRICS is doing some pretty cool things, my friend. We currently have... The ETFs, um, which bought uh, bought up 1.4 billion of Bitcoin yesterday, the most ever in a single day. Boom! Okay. So if you think that people are not buying while Bitcoin's currently knocking on literally the all-time highs here, in fact, it's sitting at an all-time high point pretty much at this moment, then my friend, I don't know where you're at because if that's happening at this current point, you're not buying the top. You're actually relatively still early. And the next chart I'm going to show you, 
It's going to show you exactly why and where we potentially are in the market right now. So even though we're at record highs in price, you can see right now that we are literally still in the takeoff zone. We haven't yet even begun the bull cycle. Honestly, if you look at this, now I said it would be a combination of 2017 to 2013 bull cycle. I always said that. I said that this Biden one was absolutely suppressed. So right now for me, I believe that at the very least we could do that, which means that we would pump probably up to like the 700 to a million dollar level. I don't know. You let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are. But if we go and look at the psychology of the market, let's wait for confirmation on Bitcoin. Bitcoin currently somewhere around this zone in the calm zone. We've been in the hope zone. We're now in the calm zone. And there is bearish action and bullish action on the STH cost basis Z score. So what you see here is that it started here. This is all the price points. These are the dates that you see here. And so currently you can see uh, 2009, 13, 17, 21, and 25. So this is going to be the 25 zone, 26 zone, uh, and then 27 zone right here. So who knows where we'll go, but as you can see here, this is the zone where the bear market mostly is. This is the zone where the bull market mostly is. We literally still have Tick, 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 all the way till at least 2026 to possibly have a bull cycle, my friend. That means we have like 30, 12, 13, 14 months left over. Just giving the facts. We are at the breakout point at this point with the all time high. So another one here, you can see the same thing a little bit more clearly without all the noise in it. Okay. We're starting early the cycle because as you can see here, the blue dots send us into that cycle. The red dots are actually the uh, the end of the blue dots are the the bull cycle. Ah, yeah, the end of the dots are the, the maximum of the bull cycle. And then from that point, boom, down. So let's see what actually happens to the cycle, my friends. Because right now, this is the 58. So first of all, I just want to, I'm not going to read all of this, but all in all, since Trump's inauguration in 2016 from down here to up to where we currently are is a 10,000% gain, just by the way, from $700 to $77,000. Like that's an 11,000% gain, my friend. So just right now, all I want to say to you is that, boom, $700 right here to $19,000. That, that's what happened there. It's like a four and a half X there. Okay. This right now, what could we be heading to? I mean, there's some predictions that we could be heading to a whole bunch higher. Now, if you watch this video here, and I'll leave it pinned in the cards above, it's a very important video. You will want to watch that because it tells us the potential price barriers that we could hit at what potential time from other people that are quite well known in the space. But if you love what I'm sharing with you, then share some love on the channel for me and share the video wherever you believe possible. Now, BlackRock reports a $1.1 billion in inflows for its ETFs. Yesterday, my friends, yesterday, 1.1 billion. Actually, the day ended off at about 1.31 something billion. Amazing. Now, Binance, exchange reserve percentage, okay? Binance reserve percentage, 25%. It is only but increasing the Binance Reserve. So Binance challenges Coinbase as the largest exchange in terms of reserve percentage as its reserve percentage hits an all-time high of 25%. Now that means that Binance is actually an extremely well-trusted exchange. Even though it's a CEX, a centralized exchange, it is what it is. Now BlackRock launched the iShares Gold Trust ETF in 2005, now holding about $32.9 billion in assets. Wow. BlackRock's iBit Bitcoin ETF debuted in January, already surpassing it with a $34.2 billion in assets in six months. Do you see what it is that I'm saying, my friend? Do you see what it is that I'm saying? 
with interest over time on the new Google searches and Trump victory retail are coming. This is what happened on the 6th of November. Boom. Okay. We went right up and we had some really pump of mental stuff happening here on the day. You know, lots of people around the world were like, all oh, Bitcoin befuck is what we would say here in South Africa. Now, there are millionaires in crypto. Look at all the Bitcoin millionaires that happened. This is where they all happened with Trump's inauguration. Some happened in here, okay, because we all knew what was going on here, or some people knew what was going on here, and they started to enter in over here. Now, the millionaires dropped because they just sold, but, and there was liquidations, etc., etc. But really, we're at an all-time high. We're at 121,900, which is a new all-time high on Bitcoin millionaires. In other words, you have to hold 13 Bitcoin, okay? We'll look at that now. You have to hold 13 Bitcoin currently at today's price in order to be to a millionaire today. That's today, okay? So stock to flow model forecasting of 420,000 plus BTC price as early as April 2025 wow could we could we see that uh april 2025 i mean that would be very interesting i don't know let me know your thoughts down below but you can see here uh that just in blackrock's etf bitcoin etf uh is officially bigger than its gold etf 33.2 billion in assets in just 10 months i am so impressed check at this bitcoin boom gold boom okay and now remember that Gold has had this ETF for uh, nearly 20, 20 years, my friend. This is only 10 months. Imagine what's going to happen in Bitcoin. Okay. We are literally about to explode. So I want to share this with you from Tom, this video here from Tom Lee. It's just a short 44 second video. Let's go listen to what he says uh, about the debt crisis. It, it's going to be very difficult to fix the deficit with just changes in taxes and spending. But it's probably why Bitcoin is kind of interesting here because uh, it's potentially a treasury reserve asset. And, you know, as if Bitcoin rises in price, it actually helps offset the liabilities, which is the deficit. So you were at 150, I think, on Bitcoin, weren't you? But yeah. Not necessarily by, by the end of this year or? I, I think six figures is still possible for it before the end of the year. Yeah. But, and then more next year and the year after yeah i th i think because now you know post having and uh now bitcoin's becoming a lot more relevant and i think maybe the regulatory overhang is is diminishing that there's a lot of upside from here yes okay so all i'm saying to you my friend is is that the us has 30 nearly 36 trillion dollars in deficit and it's going to continue to grow okay but so shall they use some of that money to buy bitcoin the same like micro strategy so that they hedge against their inflation and keep their currency strong. This is the last video I want to share with you because as you can see here, three of the six new members of BRICS, the UAE, Argentina, and Ethiopia are mining Bitcoin with government resources. Yeah, it's, it's a non-US non asset. It's an emerging markets asset. And while we were all hyperventilating about the election over the last week, BRICS had a conference in Russia. There's six new members of BRICS this year. So BRICS GDP is now greater than the combined GDP of G7. Uh, of the six new members, three of them, Argentina, the UAE, and Ethiopia, are now mining Bitcoin with government resources. So there is tremendous urgency outside of the US to find a way to circumvent the irresponsible fiscal policy that we've been running here in the US. Uh, in fact, Russia announced uh, an initiative there. S Sovereign Wealth Fund is going to invest in a regional initiative to build Bitcoin mining and AI infrastructure throughout BRICS with an idea of settling global trade in Bitcoin. So look, someday, I don't know if it's five years, 10 years, Putin's gonna die. We're gonna look to reintegrate some of these countries into the world financial system, and they're gonna be trading with Bitcoin. What are we gonna be doing? Very, very, very well and particularly said there, um, and, and this is what I mean here, my friends. If you think that these countries aren't going to front run America using this as a potential reserve, my friend, I don't know where you're going, but as I said, a million dollars, if you wanted to become a millionaire today, you would need 13 Bitcoin, okay? 13 Bitcoin today 
as you can see here, the all-time high was 15 hours ago, and we're only 1% down from it. 77,239. We are literally 112,000% up from the all-time low of 2013. We're not even talking about before then when it was dirt cheap, even cheaper than that. So my friends, Bitcoin is the unstoppable asset on this planet, most unstoppable asset on this planet. And hence why we're seeing even Bitcoin ETFs take over gold ETFs. So make sure you get in yourself some Bitcoin using my Bybit link down below. Get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus when you deposit your funds. And make no mistake that when we start to look at this chart on the weekly here right now, this is where you need to be looking at. We've crossed over here on the MACD. The RSI is pulling up. We're breaking out with a very strong, beautiful weekly candle up here. And we should be closing this weekly candle up here. Now, my friends, once we do weekly candles like that, look at this. We actually get continuation of the momentum. And if BlackRock did the most amount of buying on Friday, imagine what they're going to continue to do and buy. They literally are going to suck the current supply dry. And then there's not going to be enough Bitcoin for the rest of you. So make sure that you know that we're at this point in the cycle. We literally have the next move up right there, my friends, right here. There is no better time than right now. So make sure to subscribe to the Crypto Bliss channel. Thank you for being here with me and I truly appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one. You bless and wonderful soul. Take care and have yourself a lovely evening.